do you see my presentation, Marcus? Uh, yes, we do. In a full screen mode? Uh, yes. Okay, well, let's start. Thank you, Marco, for the introduction. Uh, today, I will show you how we use uh, the new GIS module in uh, our country, in Italy country, for our customer. Before starting, I show, I tell you how we structured the, our, uh, our presentation. First of all, uh, we introduced the general concept of the, present, of the, the model. We try to create a general approach of these types of problem, types of problem of relative to supply chain. Then uh, I will show you a uh, use case, uh, really a real uh, case uh, where we apply this uh, model, this approach for our customer. And uh, at the end, if we have uh, enough time, uh, we, I will show you the, the model itself as some trick and tips that I use to, to create the model and to manage a lot of quantity of data regarding the, this type of approach. First of all, I start citing Dr. Helen Greenwood, who tried to describe and uh, um, show how the supply chain uh, could impact on the manufacturing process. In a past uh, session of the Winter Simulation Conference, uh, it says that uh, the material flow could be very important things in uh, the manufacturing process, especially when they are required to move uh, from a long distance uh, or for different parts of the world. And then the sourcing decision has a major impact on the enterprise performance in terms of cost, timeliness, quality, and et cetera. So as probably everybody knows today, the supply chain and the logistic uh, issue are very important to manage correctly because probably everybody knows that uh, some factory have some uh, program to receive in time, uh, some components to complete the production process, for example, for a car or a personal computer. And uh, this aspect impact uh, directly on the production of the system, but also on the cost and uh, create a delay that probably usually the end customer don't accept. For this reason, uh, uh, generic tools uh, is uh, necessary to study a very complex system like a supply chain over the international uh, system. And uh, for this reason, I believe that the Flexim uh, reached this target uh, implementing in, the, in this year the GIS module that's allowed to put together many types of factors that could impact on supply chain and uh, allow to monitoring uh, different factors uh, considering uh, every types of variability of uh, or uncertainty regarding this, uh, this topic. We try to uh, use our experience on the logistic uh, theme and logistic topic uh, and try to extend what we have uh, usually done inside the plant uh, because Flexim is a valid tool to study the logistic inside the warehouse, inside the production line. And uh, we try to generate a, class, a new class of model that allow to study the logistic aspect outside the plant and then uh, in a huge scale, for example, geographic scale. For this, for this uh, goal, we create uh, a new class of model. We try to create a new class of model, which is focused on the operation of the supply chain. Therefore, its focus is attention on uh, factory, warehouse, distribution center, or end customer as a single entity that doesn't represent the complete process of the transform transformation of a goods or the production of a goods. But, describe a generic and an high level approach of the con concept of uh, production, but his focus is attention on the good flow technically. And then obviously on the, um, on the background, there is some technical constraint that are depending on the transport system. For example, uh, we need to map uh, the real network, could be a road, railway, or shipping. 
and uh, so we need to create a delay before uh, the, to, um, for a goods to become available in the, the next point. Our attention is focused on obviously on business perspective. So we try to focus our attention on uh, the real uh, KPIs of the supply chain system. And for this reason, we try to monitoring uh, distribution center utilization and cost or outage cost or a complex cost that is given by the sum of these two contributors. But also we try to understand how the goods, the material flow inside the, the system. So we need to trace the right level of the inventory of our warehouse or and also the time to deliver to the end customer because in this case, the time is the main goal to reach. A delivering time is very useful for a society we manage logistics or supply chain operation. And uh, at the end, thanks to several analysis uh, tools uh, which allow to analyze, uh, analyze the several different scenarios, we are able to organize and study different solutions for the whole supply chain. To describe uh, to describe the whole system, I try to show and explain this uh, the schema that uh, sum up uh, the basic concept, the basic idea of our module and the model. Sorry. On the left side, we have the system who produce the goods, this factory, which uh, receive the request directly from the warehouse or distribution center, or directly also from the customer and produce the material. When the materials are ready to be shipped, they are sent, they are delivered to directly to the warehouse where the material is stocked until the, the time is reached to send to the next point, to the next destination. We split the, the warehouse on this concept of the buffer of the stock in two different entities, the warehouse and distribution, because uh, there are several and heterogeneous uh, situations in the supply chain system, because sometimes there are warehouses who store one type of element or more than one type of element, or organize uh, different types of element to, to make only one delivery each time. And on the other end, uh, there are also the distribution center that are the warehouse very close to the end customer to reduce the timing of the, of the delivery. So these uh, two entities sometimes could be confused or sometimes could be the same element, but uh, obviously depending on the, the real system and the real uh, application. And uh, finally, we have the end customer. This is the engine of our system who generated the request to consume the material, the goods, and uh, so generate uh, following uh, a specific uh, generic schedule or production mix, uh, some request directly to the distribution center and the factory. On the background, or the, the element who connect this entity is the transport system transport. We have very many types of uh, different way of transport. So we have track, uh, rail, uh, plane, uh, or ship, and they need to move uh, in the right way with the right uh, time. And uh, also you need to move the flow directly in, uh, in different way. For, uh, for this reason, uh, it's very important to map uh, this pa part of the process uh, to be sure that uh, we represent uh, correctly the delay that are introduced by this uh, huge distance that uh, we need uh, to travel to complete the, the shipment. And uh, at the end, uh, we have the goods itself. We decide uh, for our approach to use uh, pallet as the smallest uh, unit of uh, goods. Each pallet that we generate has uh, some labels that represent the types or some production data to monitoring the time of delivery or time of consuming and so on. 
So to sum up uh, our schema, we have five uh, entities, the factory who produce the elements, distribution center over house, which stock the material and um, guarantee the, the right quantity at the right time uh, of the, the material. And then, then customer will receive the material and consume. On the background, we have the transport to, to move the element and the, and the pallets. This uh, very generic approach, uh, we try to apply in collaboration with BIP, uh, in Italian um, consulting uh, company, directly to a customer. Customer who is one of the world's largest uh, hybrid packaging supplier of glass, plastic, and metal containers and clothing. This company asked uh, us to study and to understand how improve the, its supply chain. Cons do you, you must consider that uh, this customer follow all process of production, but also of distribution of these uh, items. So it's, they are very interesting to focus on each aspect of the production of the element. In this case, the customer chose the simulation as a valid tool to, to lead this uh, strategic decision because they need to reorganize uh, continuous month by month, year by year, its supply chain, obviously to optimize the cost and maximize the productivity. Uh, fortunately, we Flexible develop uh, just in time uh, GIS module and uh, allow us to create uh, this model, this uh, digitalization of the sub customer supply chain, and allow also to study and modeling uh, interlogistics problem uh, or any other transportation use where travel and time and this are the, re the really important factor. We first of all, starting from the, the real data that the customer provide us, uh, we create uh, the digital twin. We call it digital twin, but it's not a real digital twin because it's a digital model, digital representation of the supply chain. Uh, in particular, we have done uh, uh, double jobs. First of all, one part of the work is done inside flexing, creating the location, creating the route, connecting each location in the right way, and check if the, con the connection are uh, correct and uh, are realistic also. And on the other end, we need to manipulate a lot of quanti uh, a huge quantity of data, and so we use also business intelligence tools, business intelligence analysis to put together several information, always uh, also uh, structured in different way, because uh, this is a company that uh, works uh, in different uh, country. And so there are many types to manage the, the same types of data. From the, each model, we extract some information relative obviously on the supply chain, like uh, the number of pallets that are moving or move out from uh, a location, warehouse or customer or supplier, depending on the point of view, but also the cost, outage cost or the um, transport cost. Then we, we start to play. We start to play changing the scenario. We change the number of uh, hub or we change the location of the warehouse. We try to increase also the demand of the customer to evaluate how our supply chain could react to the new future demand of the customer. And uh, we use uh, full uh, uh, tools inside Flexim uh, like Experimenter or Optimizer to analyze uh, all possible scenario. And with uh, the dashboard, we get out uh, all possible information that customer required. And for example, we also study the, um, the distance and the time of each delivery, try to define the right setup uh, to reduce, for example, the distance or to reduce the, the delay 
our, uh, the, our delivery. And then nowadays, the customer has a, a digital uh, model, digital representation of his supply chain, and uh, he use uh, day by day to analyze the perform the main performance uh, of the its system, changing the flow, changing the location, adding some customer, or uh, adding new types of product, for example, and uh, it it. He can uh, make a decision at high level design of obviously of its supply chain. Uh, to be clear, we don't focus uh, technically in uh, which type of elements or how we move technically in the right way the, the, the pallets of the right quantity, but we need we want to study how some high level decision, for example, uh, open a new warehouse uh, in, uh, in a new city could impact the whole system and uh, how the, the flow are redistributed uh, inside the, the, the supply chain. And obviously it can extend uh, his study to future country, future scenario. And obviously, uh, you for our customer to extend its business uh, using Flexim in this case to study how the future improvement of its supply chain. Okay, I go to the model to show some uh, some animation. This is a general model. Unfortunately, I can show you directly the, the real data and the real output of the project because there are non disclosure agreement that uh, avoid us to show the comp total information regarding this project. But uh, I can believe that I can show the main idea and uh, the main uh, approach that we have uh, used for this uh, project. First of all, we create an uh, address book. It's a very, a very simple list of uh, location, mm, uh, a name to, this, uh, to describe its location, a role for this location, one stay for uh, warehouse and two stay for customer, and then the real location. Obviously, it's not uh, X, Y location, but it's a geographical location, so it's latitude and longitude. Then, we need to map all possible flow and uh, we need to get the, the number of the pallet move from one point to the other point to, the, to create a technically a flow. This is a flow over, uh, we studied the flow over all 2020 here, or the last year for the customer uh, is very important here even if uh, there is the problem of uh, infection of the virus COVID, but uh, fortunately for the customer, the, um, the work, the request and the flow doesn't uh, decrease. So on the other, other, on the other end, uh, increase. So it could be a good reference for study the, the, the system. And uh, then, I create, we create a simple process flow that read this table and generate some request day by day to put together the same transfers and deliver and uh, get a um, track who move around the, okay, no, it stopped. Uh, move around our road network. We manage only track, so we manage only network, road network. And uh, every day we collect all information for how many types and uh, how many pallets are moved. And we collect in a statistic, in a generic statistic collector. This is a simple, very simple log. We trace all possible information of each uh, mission. And uh, obviously, this is a point of view of uh, each mission, and this is a point of view of uh, each uh, location to, to trace several information, like uh, the average distance uh, or the distribution of the distance. Obviously, uh, as I said before, uh, the, the goal of the project is the redu reduce, for example, in this case, it's not well configured uh, configuration. We need to reduce the long distance travel 
but uh, on the other end, uh, we need to increase uh, the short distance travel. In other words, we, uh, we need to put uh, very close the warehouse to the end customer to reduce the distance and the travel. Okay, I believe that uh, it's all. I complete my presentation. I don't so I don't see my okay. See, if there are some Excellent. questions. Yeah, there is there is one question so far. Um, so other than verifying time and distance, uh, what other validation efforts did you do for this supply chain model? Ah, this is a good question. Uh, to validate this. Uh... This, uh, this model, we have technically do some different, several, uh, several things. First of all, we, we, don't, uh, we don't trust inflection. I'm sorry for Phil Bobo who developed this uh, aspect, but uh, I try to get the information directly from the, the root, the which, uh, which are uh, configuring a GIS module, and they check outside, for example, with the, uh, the out, other system. And again, fortunately, Bobo uh, has done a well job and ne ne there are never uh, error in uh, measuring the distance and the traveling of uh, each uh, mission. And on the other end, uh, the customer is uh, quite confident uh, regarding the, the time and the distance that uh, each mission is done. So the customer uh, try to understand how it's work because uh, he has uh, several information regarding the, the transfer and also the cost of this transfer. Usually the cost of uh, uh, delivery, depending on the quantity of material that you move, uh, but also the distance that you move. So we try to validate our system in a not direct way, but in a in direct way, uh, considering the, co the cost of our system. The, and comparing this cost uh, with uh, the simulated one. Excellent, thank you. Uh, another question that just came in, does the truck always travel between point A and C, even if there is a point B in between where it could possibly uh, repack load and, and you know, maybe have it be beneficial for it to stay there? Or is the cost per kilometer taken directly from the customer? Okay, we never try to reorganize our uh, delivery. So uh, we usually make uh, the direct way. We don't, if uh, I can uh, uh, pass uh, in another point to collect some other information uh, in this, uh, some other uh, palette, for example, some other item, uh, we don't consider it because it's not a limit. So we consider only the cost relative to the total distance. And so for this reason, we don't need to combining different mission in, the, in a new one or try to aggregate uh, different uh, delivery in the same one. Okay, thank you. Perfect, uh, are there any other questions? Okay, I, I don't see any others. So, uh, Alessio, thank you very much, uh, both for your presentation and for highlighting the, the GIS module.